Tonight, two governors get the chance to settle one of the biggest political debates, which state does it best. Florida's Ron DeSantis and California's Gavin Newsom facing off in the red versus blue showdown we've all been waiting for. Sean Hannity moderating the big event tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. It's a chance for the high-profile leaders to reshape the political landscape and cement their status as the future of their political parties. The pair have been trading shots for months over who runs their state better. What he's done in California, Governor Newsom, causing a mass exodus out of the state. You've really seen cities collapse there. That is what he would want to do for this entire country. I'd tell him to pack up and, and wait a few years and actually do some of the hard work, which actually includes governing, not just identity and culture war. We will never, ever surrender to the woke mob. Our state is where woke goes to die. Human beings used as pawns for a guy's political advancement. That's pretty sad and pathetic. But it's not just policy. The two governors have been exchanging plenty of personal insults, too. Stop pussyfooting around. Are you going to throw your hat in the ring and challenge uh, Joe? Are you going to get in and do it, or are you just going to sit on the sidelines and chirp? He's just weakness masquerading as strength. Yeah, he's flailing. But I think what California represents, it's, it's kind of the leftist petri dish. I remember growing up and folks would have their mouths washed out with soap if they talked like this. <laughs> Jesse, I imagine that might have been something you dealt with. I did once have my mouth washed out with soap. <laughs> Never again. Never again. So are you ready for tonight? I Big am. Debate? I'm really excited. You know when you go out to dinner, Dana, and you order your appetizer and yep. your entree, and then all of a sudden the waitress comes out with a surprise, compliments of the chef. I wasn't expecting this. This is great. This is before <laughs> an election year. We're getting a debate like this. So DeSantis has an opportunity to separate himself from the pack. He's been languishing, but this is a really good chance for him because it plays to his strength. He's not one of those Republicans that likes to attack other Republicans like a Vivek or a Trump or a Christie. He hasn't really engaged like that. He likes the confrontation. He likes the conflict, whether it's the press or another Democrat. And you can't have a bigger contrast than this. These two states could not be yeah. any more opposite. So you're going to get not as much personal stuff that we've been hearing, you're going to get a good policy contrast. And as you said, you're going to see what works and what doesn't. His challenge is going to be tell the story because the story is a better story. Stick to it, sell it, but you can't let Newsom be charming. You have to turn his charm into sleaze. And it's a difficult task, but no one trusts a sleaze bag. Now, Newsom has a different option. Newsom has to be good, but he can't be too good. What I mean is Newsom has to be good, so he has to establish himself as the heir apparent, as the alternative in case something happens to Joe, and then definitely in 2028. But if he's too good, Dana, then you're going to see donors and pundits start drafting him oh. and telling Joe Biden to clip the campaign, and that's going to create a war. And I don't think the Democratic Party wants that right now. Newsom, though, has to not only defend California's record, he has to defend Joe Biden's Biden, record. Yeah. So that's a little tricky. So if I were DeSantis, I'd try to jam him and try to make him defend Joe Biden because Newsom has to acknowledge things are rough right now. And he has to do it in a way that's honest, <clears throat> but also not attack Joe Biden, but say, this is how I'm different than Joe Biden. He's going to take a lot of agility to do that. This guy's slick. He's going to come out with a lot of facts. Anything could happen. I'm really excited. Me too. The facts for Florida seem to be, if you're looking at just raw facts, that the outcomes in Florida are better than California. Yeah, the numbers look really strong for, uh, for Florida. I mean, here, here are some of them. California lost $55.7 billion in income. Florida gained uh, $80 billion in income. The unemployment, it's half of what uh, California's at 4%. Florida's at 2.6%. 2 national average? On gas is below the national average. California is four dollars and eighty-five cents. Good luck hunting for that. Now, I, I, did, I asked President Trump what he thought, and will he be watching? He will be watching. He says, "Hope they have a great evening and wish them well for 28." Yeah. So, that, so that's where he stands. I do find this: the way you were describing it is like the way you feel before a fight. You can't wait to see what Tyson's going to do, what Holyfield's going to do. You can't imagine what it's like to see them together. You know, like apart. And what I'm most intrigued about, Dana, is this is a real debate 
Because if you look at the Democrat or Republican debate, both sides agree with 85 percent of what they say. So they got to find a nuance, something about their background, some hypocrisy. Here it's like, no, no, uh, this is what I feel about social issues. This is what I think about social spending. This is how I feel about schooling. So they're going to be dramatically different. And it's, it's going to be almost uh, cathartic to see it hashed out aside from this table uh, upstairs on the couch, but actually in front of a national audience. And Harold, do you think this is a chance for Newsom to set himself apart and become that heir apparent no matter what happens? It probably, probably Or are you going to challenge him? No, it's, <laughs> good to, it's good to be back around. I uh, hope everybody had a good weekend. I, I agree with just about everything that's been said. I do think that Jesse's point, and I love Brian, but Jesse's point about how I think Governor Newsom is not going to be careful, but he has to understand that if he performs well tonight, you're certainly going to will be a catalyst for even more people to Is say that, that bad, though? they want they want I don't think so I think but I do think out of out of fairness yeah, I yeah, think he Jesse can't throw the game I think Jesse was, <laughs> yeah. was trying to make make that point too um, both of these guys are emblematic of consistent with that the state of the parties uh, both parties uh, if you look at the data on both sides uh, if you ask primary voters most primary voters on the Republican side want someone other than the front run on the Republican side who's Mr. Trump same is true with Mr. Biden the Democrats want someone other than two or three, it's clear that if DeSantis were performing as well as everyone thought he was going to perform four months ago, he probably would not be doing this debate. I mean, he needs this. He needs this rep uh, before the voters. And for Newsom, he certainly wants to make clear that if he's not going to be the person in 24, which doesn't look like likely, that he will be the person in 28. He'll have that opportunity. The two of them come from great states. Great economies, good weather in both of them. <laughs> uh, on, on this, you look the next last but four to six years. Don't you see the deficit in California? Right. But I mean, but people would you you poll America, they would love to live in Los Angeles, love to live on a beach in Malibu. I hear you, what you're saying. Both of them have issues. Now Newsom has a crime and homelessness issue he's going to have to address. The Santos has an issue around public education and home insurance problems and insurance prices going up in his state and what he's what he's done to address that. In addition, Mr. DeSantis has actually been out on the campaign trail nationally because he's running for office for president, and he's had a chance to lay out his vision, and that vision is supported by what he's done in Florida. And he seems now to be slipping in the polling data. Miss Haley now seems to be the alternative for Mr. Trump. I'm going to watch tonight. I'm, I'm, I, Sean has done a great job of framing yeah. this. I'll be on a little after to comment on it. But I'm going to be interested to see not only how they go personally at it, Jesse said it best, but how they talk about their visions in their state and you said as well, and how they might lead the country, because that's what people are going to be looking at. Mm -hmm. I mean, people who don't live in Florida, California, which is going to be a majority of the watchers and viewers, they want to see if these two guys could lead the country. And we'll get an opportunity tonight to see first grabs at a first step. It is pretty it. incredible that Sean Hannity had the idea, was yep. able to pull it together. He's a perfect moderator for this moment, a great interviewer, knows the issues very well, and there's no audience, yeah. which will give both uh, candidates, well, not, not candidates, both debaters, a chance to talk without too much interruption, I imagine. Is this important moment for DeSantis for the 2024 campaign? I think it could be. Um, but I'm actually, I know that 2024 is like the big talk in 2028, but I'm actually watching this just from the perspective of governance and the kind of governing that we have in this country. You know, we have 50 different states with 50 different governors and different ways of people doing things. California is a place where it's the number one place where people are moving out. Florida is the number one place moving in. California used to be governed by Ronald Reagan, who, of course, went on to be one of the best presidents we've ever had. Uh, I, I like that we're going to see two major political parties go at it from a state perspective, an executive level uh, from the states to talk about the way that they govern and what they think is best for their people and how that can be emulated on the, the federal level. We see this a lot with senators on the Senate floor. We don't get to see governors going at it one on one together very often. Florida and California have bigger economies than most countries in the rest of the world. There are obviously <coughs> big differences between California and Florida. Um, but I'm really excited to see just the debate aspect of this and to have a longer conversation between two people who are, you know, very popular in these places. Gavin Newsom, of course, was recalled, tried to be recalled. He came out politically stronger. He's very charismatic. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that uh, Ron DeSantis will have quite... Uh, the things to handle tonight, because he's, he's a tough debater, for sure. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.